Well, hey guys, and welcome back to yet another review of my channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Athern Genesis GP38-2 in the Grand Trunk Western Operation Lifesaver paint scheme, number 5856. I bought this unit from High Country Hobbies for $256. The unit includes Tsunami 2 sound and LED lighting, so we'll take a look at this next. All right, so unboxing the unit, we're going to lift off the top here. This is the Athern Genesis box. Inside, we have the operator's manual. It has... DCC and sound functions right there, handling and maintenance, and you get some more information on the CDs and how to clean it, as well as your warranty information. You also have your exploded parts diagram right here, and then it shows the different types of nose variations right there. You also get the different chassis variations and all of the different detail parts so if you ever need to request warranty parts that's on there and of course you get your one year limited warranty through horizon hobby you also get your ather news and the locomotive of course so we're going to pull it out of the foam you can see here packaging we will lift up this top here soft plastic surrounds the model we're just going to pull it out very carefully We'll put that to the side and I will come back to you guys once I've gotten these uh, handrail protectors up of the way. Also in the box was a baggie with this piece for the window, so we'll put that on later. But taking a closer look at the model, you can see the plastic McHenry knuckle couplers here, a whole bunch of separately applied grabs, sand trailer hatch, headlight. I believe this is a P3 horn. You got your little antenna here. Look, listen, and live on the side, 5856, sunshades, or cab window sunshades. There's a whole bunch of little details on the front there. Windshield wipers and whatnot. Right here, you got the stanchions, which are pretty sturdy, so I, wouldn't, I don't think we'll have to worry about those. You got your train line air hose and a whole bunch of other air hoses here for connectivity between locomotives. Taking a look at the side. Once again, we got 58, 56, and look, listen, and live. Operation Lifesaver with the railroad crossing painted on. GT logo at the tail end. Dustbin hatch on top. Turbocharger. Everything there. You got your fuel tank, fuel safety cap, and everything there on the fuel tank, as well as your air compressor up here. And then you have these beautiful trucks. Then we'll get a closer look at that. Quite detailed. Remember, this unit's only 250 bucks. Not bad for an Athern Genesis unit. Take a look more towards the rear of the locomotive. You see 5856 on the number boards there. Separately applied grabs and handrails. And then one thing I forgot to mention about the front is the uh, steps there. They are not see-through on this model. Just wanted to mention that because I know a lot of Genesis models have the see-through steps. This one does not. You have the spare knuckles on the rear right here, and you have the coupler cut lever, as well as that plastic coupler there. Stanchions are pretty straight. Grand Trunk Western logo on the back. Operation Lifesaver logo there. And look, listen, and live on the front side there. And right here we can see the window cover on this side. We'll take a look at the top here. You can see the radiator fan grills there, that is nice. Little fan, fan grills are on the side and the fans are on top there. It keeps going on the focus. But those are detailed very, very nicely. And that is pretty much it for the model. You can see the underneath there. Uh, the unit does have a bell right there. You guys can see that, I know it's upside down. But it is right there. That is it for the detail on the model pretty much. But I do want to mention one thing. Right here, you can lift off the top there, and you can easily access your DCC and sound board and the wiring there. So it's very simple to take off and to put right back on. So that's pretty nice. All right, taking a look at the coupler height, you can see the front is dead on. And the rear is dead on as well. 
All right, taking a look and seeing if the wheels are engaged, we can see that the front trucks are engaged and the rear truck is engaged as well. So that being said, we'll take a look at the sounds quickly next. All right, so all units from the manufacturer with Tsunami 2 have automatic startup. So you'll see that it starts up automatically. Once we put it on the track, So there we have the beautiful EMD startup. All locomotives from the factory are set to address three, so we're going to type in address three. The headlight is F0, and the dimmer is 7, as well as the cab channel there. This unit is not equipped with ditch lights because it is pre-ditch light era. F1 is the bell. F2 is the horn. And F3 is the short horn. F6 is the antenna light. You can see it going up here. And I believe that is all for the lighting and the sounds. We're going to move this locomotive at speed step one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You can hear while the locomotive moves that the clickety clack also is engaged. Speed step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can hear that clickety clack. Stop it. Now very quickly, I do want to show you some of the other sounds really quickly of the model. So here is F13. There's a decoupler pump. And here is F23. And that's about it for the other sounds on the model. We will do a run by next of this look model with a couple of cars. Thank you guys for watching this short but inclusive review of the Athlon Genesis GT38-2. I'll see you guys in the next video.